Hey everyone, I wanted to show you my everyday carry here in my vehicle, in my truck. Is it complete? No. Do I continually add to it and take away from it, depending on situations? Yeah. So, come check out what I got in it right now, and uh, I'll tell you what I'm thinking about adding to it. Alright everyone, here are some of the basics that I keep in the vehicle at all time. Um, of course we have our first aid kit. This one is, I've added to over the years. This one's a day tripper by Adventure Medical Kits. Great medical kits. We've got some quick clot in here, which is really handy. It stops bleeding incredibly fast. This is a good thing to always have around. I've got extra pairs of gloves. Uh, different types of gloves, latex and nitrile gloves. I've added to the pack, I've taken away from it. It's got a lot of different bandages and dressings over here for a quick first aid. It's got scissors and, uh, you know, it's a great all around kit. It's got pain relief, topical ointments, uh, bandages, basic bandages. Your, uh, survival guide in here is a, is a good idea or basic first aid guide if you are not first aid CPR certified which I highly recommend you be um, you know a quick reference guide is, is a nice thing even if you're in a traumatic situation it's good to have that quick reference guide. I also keep with me a moldable splint these are fantastic uh, for quickly setting someone's arm. Uh, this is small enough for an arm, not big enough for a leg. Then I just use a cravat to wrap around and, and secure that. This is always an important item to have in a car. I don't care what you think, <laughs> but I always carry this in the vehicle uh, just in case, wherever I'm at. doesn't matter. City, country, you always need us some TP, right? Tools are important and I've got several here of course a uh, really important handy item to have are a pair of jumper cables not only for yourself but uh, to help out other people and these are a little bit uh, small but I'm gonna be upgrading uh, to a larger gauge wire a little bit more heavy duty duct tape will fix anything right besides the duct tape we've got uh, zip ties. Zip ties can be used to, for very quick repairs on your vehicle. Uh, you know, pulling hoses back together, whatever you need to do. Uh, holding electrical wires back in place that have come loose, and uh, you know, there's a million uses for these things. Help out our friends and neighbors. We've got a heavy duty tow chain with uh, the appropriate hooks on the end. You want to make sure these are properly rated for pulling vehicles. Besides the tow chain, I have a tow strap for different situations. Uh, I'll have a winch in the future, but these two items are uh, really handy to get yourself out of a bind and also to help others uh, out of a sticky situation. A lot of mud uh, here in East Texas. and This one's rated for 2,800 pounds on the working load, so that's plenty. We've got some tie downs over here to secure loads. Those are always great to have in the vehicle. We've got a blanket. If you come across someone uh, who's in shock and it's not 100 degrees outside like it is today, then uh, a blanket is a good first aid item to have in your vehicle. And of course, it's got numerous purposes. I've also got a case of water that I keep. Okay, everyone, please forgive me for the two-part spliced video. My <laughs> camera stopped working for some reason on the other shoot, and I didn't get an opportunity to continue to explain what else I had in my vehicle. Uh, after this clip, it's going to jump to the end uh, clip, which is from the original shoot, which was just a couple of days ago. But I'll get you all the information and everything I have uh, here in the car. Or in the truck. So what I what I also keep in the vehicle here that the clip skipped over, I believe, 
are uh, some basic tools. I've got a socket set. This is a 3H, 3 8 inch uh, ratchet set with uh, imperial and metric measurement. And I've got a couple of pairs of pliers here. I've got a pair of needle nose pliers and I've got a pair of um, uh, adjustable, uh, an adjustable wrench here. I've also got a, a drill driver or sorry, screwdriver. Uh, this is a really nice one. I really like it a lot. It's adjustable. It's Craftsman. I use this for everything. Gets into great places, bends a little bit, gets you a little bit more leverage, which is nice. Additionally, what you always want to have in your vehicle is a good flashlight. I have two. Um, one thing that's absolutely fantastic is a headlamp gives you both hands free to work on the vehicle if necessary uh, to hook things up I love the headlamp you know this is a great light uh, this is the Phoenix LD20 and it is incredibly incredibly bright you know you can see it out here in the bright sunlight it takes uh, AA batteries rechargeable which is what I wanted I wanted this feature uh, some take the CR123 uh, I think or something like that some designation I don't like those because if you need a battery, it's really easy to get a double A. This one takes triple A's. It's also just as easy to get triple A's. So that's just my take on flashlights. Always get a flashlight that you can get uh, with a normal battery in it. It makes things a lot easier. But like I said, I love my Phoenix flashlight. It's super bright, but you know you got to hold it. The controls here at the back and. Uh, not as easy to do work with this. Pretty much you're not, you're just looking for things with this. You're not doing much work. You're doing one-handed work. But obviously, the headlamp, you've got both hands free. And this thing is fantastic. I've had this for a little while now. This is the Petzl Tika XP. Uh, it's a little bit older model, but it rock and rolls. It's so tough and uh, solid as a rock here. Um, it's got a lot of different features and settings, you know, from blinking, SOS, and um, three brightness settings. Uh, it's LED, of course. Um, highly recommend a headlamp to have in your vehicle. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let's flip to the other clip, and I'll kind of wrap it up from there. Thanks again. All right, everyone. So this is the basics that I would keep in the vehicle at all time. You know. There are things I can add and take away from this, and I will over time. Uh, and like I said, it's situational, uh, and it depends on where you live. You know, if you live in the Northwest, it's going to be a little bit different than what I have here. We'll be adding other items to help people get out of situations where they're stuck in their vehicle. Uh, you know, maybe they went into a ditch or got stuck on a side road that's dirt. Whatever it may be, we're just going to help them out. We don't have really any snow problems here, and. East Texas, but you know, sometimes there's a half inch on the ground and everybody goes nuts and <laughs> forgets how to drive. So, uh, growing up in Michigan, I can be of service to others who uh, aren't as experienced with the snow. Anyway, thank you for watching. We appreciate you watching as always. And we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Hitting the like button really helps us out. Shows others that uh, there's interesting content here. And that you enjoyed what you see. Uh, leave us any comments in the comment section below. We'd love to talk to you. Thank you and have a great day. It's so wonderful that you always join us. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for being with us. We hope that we are able to help you out uh, by our own experiences and our own knowledge. If you're interested, please click on the video on the right-hand side of the screen to see how we are going to be planting our garden this year, doing some companion planting, very important information, and also uh, check out what we are going to be planting. Thank you. Leave us any questions or comments below. We appreciate it. Have a great day.